this week's episode, Bubble Blowing. Ooh, Pop's blowing bubbles. Let's see, how many bubbles did she blow? I can see all the bubbles, just need to count them. Okay, one, two, three, four. Four bubbles. Great. Oh, this time the bubbles are blowing away. I kind of missed that. Let's watch again and count along. One, two, three. So three bubbles. With each question, the challenge changes a little bit. In the first question, the bubbles were static. In the second question, the bubble started floating away, but it's still counting. Just now, the child needs to remember where they are, what they've already counted. This time, Pop blew pairs of bubbles. I think that was two sets of two, so four. And here, we have singles and doubles. But what happens if I get a question wrong? You can see I'm directed to watch again. It's keeping me accountable for correcting my own error. If I get the question wrong a third time, the feedback demonstrating for me a method for counting along with Pop's blows that connects each bubble with a number. Ah, I see, five. Hmm, here things are different again. Sometimes Pop is able to blow a bubble and sometimes she's not. But I'm still asked how many bubbles she blows. So here I need to think critically about which attempts count and which don't. This is just one of our many episodes that deal with counting. Whether in the context of animals, acrobats, sports, or others, we have many activities designed for all stages of learning to count, all with interesting and engaging stories. Think you can count along? Give it a try yourself.